Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. <clears throat> Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is Gstaad International School, Gstaad, Switzerland in 1990. I taught, I was a high school teacher at the Gstaad International School for two years, two school years from 1989 to 1991. And Gstaad is on the uh, border in Switzerland between the French and German language regions in western Switzerland. Most of the country is German-speaking, uh, French in the west, Italian in the south. So anyway, this is right on the border in, in the western part. And interesting, they say, uh, in, <coughs> for good morning, they say Grusa, which is like uh, German, and they say goodbye in French, adieu. And <coughs> at that time, when I taught at the school, the tuition, the high school tuition was one, about $100,000 a year which put it in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most expensive high school in the world. It was actually my first teaching job. Uh, now, this small town in the Alps, Swiss Alps, Kstad, was a traditional dairy farm village. So, in the old days, or for centuries, really, they grew, they had cows for milk and cheese. And then, in uh, recent decades, Kstad became an elite ski resort where wealthy people would come to go skiing and stay there uh, for, for ski vacation in, in the winter. During the school year, during the time I taught at the Gstaad International School, the, the student, there were about ten, only 10 students in the school, and they came from different countries of the world, all over the world, and at, at that time they were from Norway, Holland, Spain, the United Kingdom, France, Colombia, South America, Switzerland, Brazil, Argentina, Lesotho in South Africa and Southern Africa, Japan, Saudi Arabia, and Turkey, and the United States. And I taught, the, the classes that I taught included American history, uh, U.S. government, world geography, English, and gym. There were classes in the, in the morning, and then there would actually the, the, the students lived at the school, and they had their meals there. They'd have breakfast, and then after the morning classes, uh, teachers could have, uh, we join, generally join the students for lunch. In the afternoon, they would have physical activities, no classes in the afternoon, and uh, so things like hiking in the Swiss mountains, beautiful. In winter, snow skiing, sometimes they'd go swimming, played soccer, basketball, and as teachers, uh, we would often be uh, needed to, I would go on the hiking, basketball, swimming, soccer not so much snow skiing. And then they'd have classes from 4.30 to 7 o'clock at night, and then uh, dinner, and then, and then dinner. And on Friday night dinners, the students would wear formal clothes. Uh, now, when I was in Stadt, I saw Roger Moore one day, the uh, James Bond 007 actor, walking down the sidewalk. Julie Andrews was famous for coming there, and the joke was that she had donated uh, Christmas lights for the streets, for the main street there, and then the, the town sent her the electric bill. The, uh, the uh, principal, the owner and principal of the school when I was there was a man named Alan Superbier, who was from France. And tonight's video, today's video, was a, um, was ta was a video made by a Japanese television station, a segment where they were uh, reporting on this uh, a very expensive school in Gstaad, Switzerland. And now the movie, folks.
business. Now, after this time, because of this was during the Depression, the World Depression, this economic disaster. And because of that, and because Roosevelt was such a popular president, the court said, well, you know, it's, we've got to, uh, uh, the people support Roosevelt. He was reelected overwhelmingly. And therefore, uh, we should go along with this. We should go along with the government doing whatever it, it, it thinks necessary to help us get out of this disaster we're in. There's definitely a, an educational uh, policy. We don't have to uh, play the rich uh, people's game. Uh, first of all, my students have not graduated yet, you know, so uh, there's no point for them uh, to show off. Uh, uh, they have nothing to show off, you know. They are plain students. They are here to learn, to study, and uh, I make them feel very often that they are not uh, up to the level of people who have graduated. But our simple life is uh, definitely uh, wanted because of the, the power of it. It gives you power when you are simple. It's the same with art. It's the same with, you know, the, the music. When you're simple, you are more powerful. And we don't need the sophistication that uh, sometimes uh, Gestalt could offer. We just live here freely, happily, and in simplicity. <laughs> important is to teach the students personal responsibility. This is the, uh, the major thing that I want the students to uh, learn, that every act, every action, they are responsible of what they are doing. And it has consequences, and I teach them how to pay for the consequences of their actions, whether good or bad. It's the, uh, the philosophy of the school. Um, I would like to say that uh, it is very important for me when the students come here uh, in a world which is already very divided, in a world that is uh, very aggressive, I want them to feel uh, part of this little group uh, trying to preach unity. I preach unity to my students. I want them to feel that they are uh, in uh, the part of a very unique group that their experience is very uh, outstanding and very special and I want them to go away from here knowing that in this place here they have been cared for in a very special way. In a way you know you're a little bit independent in this school you know you have your own responsibilities and there's, there's if you show your own responsibilities and you do everything you know following the rules but you know you show your own responsibilities you get freedom too you know so there's also, you do something and there's something against it, you know, on the other side. You work to, to a certain thing, which, uh, which makes it better, I would say. Um, the teachers, um, of course, we have to spend uh, not only classes, but also free time with the teachers. First of all, in classes, I must say, the teachers are very good teachers. We have a, um, a very social teachers, I must say. they. We work very well with them, they explain as much as they can and to help us. And then also our set of classes are very, uh, very nice, you know, we, are, we live like in a small family in a way, yeah, we're good friends with each other, you know. It's not only, you know, yeah, you're a teacher, you know, you're different from the students, no, it's, oh, we're all friends. As I said, we live in a family, you know, in a way, because it's a smaller school. I believe that the extracurricular activities are tremendous. We have vast, uh, vast, um, complexes to go is tennis hall um, we, we went last term uh, two times a week the, the swimming we have the gym hall we're going this afternoon because of uh, the bad weather and uh, where we play basketball soccer volleyball and the skiing is 
tremendous. I've never seen anything like it. So you enjoy the sports side as well? Oh yes, it's very. It's it's a good mixture of both physical and mental uh, learning. I think it's great. It, I don't know, it makes it more international. <laughs> There's a bit of everything. Tell us. I don't know. What do you, what do you find interesting about it? Well, you hear all sorts of language all the time. Everybody's speaking different languages, and it gives more atmosphere to the school. Because if it was only from one country, it'd be dull. I don't know. It's special. <laughs> do, you, do you think it can have some positive effects, having all different nationalities yeah. in school? I think it does. What, what sort of things do you think it can affect? Um, it gives you an idea of how they live in different countries and making you feel like going there sometime. I don't know. If you have friends from different countries, you're going to go visit them. It makes you travel to see more countries. Or <laughs> <laughs>that concludes today's presentation. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you next time.